high command, Peleliu had an undersea cable to the Japanese base on Guam. It was a direct link with Tokyo. And the defending troops received a chilling command. Fight to the last man to save the homeland. Oh, oh crikey, she's pretty slippery. And you can see that gap up in there, that dark shadow, looks like a pillbox. This will be where the 75 mil is. Yep, this is it. Yeah. And here she is. The 75 millimeter heavy duty gun. And on the other end of the beach was a 37 millimeter. And so they had the place rigged with a really deadly crossfire. And this is where one of the first landings took place. And it was heavy casualties, really heavy duty. Cause they were hitting them with this. How's that for a slug? Spit it out across the beach. This strangler fig has actually created jail-like bars. Oh, nice pillbox. Great fortification. They would have sat in here with a whole stack of guns and ammo. And down there's the beach. So these slots are designed for guns. You can see how they widen out inside the pillbox so as you've got a lot of movement a lot of scope around about 60 degrees or more that they can point their rifle out and shoot and yet from out here it's solid concrete with just this little hole less than a foot by six inches pretty hard to hit that target the new recruits from boot camp and the hardened veterans of two years of fighting across the Pacific are fighting an invisible army of 10,000 Japanese soldiers burrowed deep into the earth and behind concrete and rock. And I think these are mortar holders, they stacked them in threes. And they would have set up the mortar down in here. Put it down. And out they go. Boom! Blow up. So that's what these bigger holes are, these bigger pits are. And the smaller ones that are absolutely everywhere and they're pretty hard to detect. They're actually for single men sitting there and bang, bang, bang. entrance to the very famous thousand man cave there was nearly a thousand japanese soldiers died back in here they thought they were safe they had uh, all these entrances and uh, artificial caves cut through there but <laughs> the old flamethrower went back up and pretty well torched them and the grenades and and then uh, the u.s servicemen came in bulldozed and sealed up the entrance oh have a look at this a mortar Japanese mortar. I stay low and start moving forward in this direction. Only two hundred of the enemy are captured. And orders 
were sent direct from Tokyo to keep fighting, resist fiercely to the bitter end. You see these holes? This is where those big land crabs live. They just pull back under. The place is littered with them. Look at them all through here. Hey, 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 hey. Look at this. It's a landing vehicle. Oh, it's an LVT. LVT A4. So these are an amphibious landing vehicle. You can see the sprockets here drives the tracks. Drive them off the boat into the water. land, tracks dig in, across the land, up the beach, onto high ground. Would have been big guns sitting out the front here. And when the boys landed on the beach, this is all they had to help not getting hit by fire. is littered with bones. There was some heavy engagement between the Marines and the Japanese. Bang! And some good Samaritan has been walking around the area and piling up these bones. So you can see this is a pile of leg bones old shell. Oh, here's some skull. Bits of skulls. More leg bones. Old canteen. You see these old shells? You wouldn't be able to walk 10 feet without coming on something else. There's another part of a leg bone there. Look at this here. Just twisted. Twisted up, chunks of metal everywhere. Lit it, absolutely everywhere. In amongst the land crab holes. How's this? This is an American landing vehicle. They're amphibious. Big 27 millimeter gun here. This area is the famous Bloody Nose Ridge. You can see that whole ridge behind me had no forest, no bush on it whatsoever. Completely denuded. And inside there was over 600 caves holding 10,000 Japanese soldiers. The cliff face becomes an inferno burnt back to bare dirt. It was the only way to expose hidden fortifications. And there's a huge gun right up here. It's pretty big. Looks like around a... I think it's a 200 millimeter Japanese uh, anti-tank gun. So this is it. This is the famous Bloody Nose Ridge. Check this out. Look at this. Here we are. Oh, man. Imagine what it would have been like. Imagine. thing sticking up here. You can still see the rifling down inside the barrel. 